everyone welcome to my soapy kitchen well we are going to be doing a culinary creation today with a few products that i've created myself um, that you will see in a wait a soapy minute episode in the future um, but first of all i'm going to finish assorting our treats and first i want to introduce we're going to be doing a scented tea today so i want to introduce you to my vessel <laughs> Now, I have never seen anyone else do this. This is something I am just trying today. I am making a sweet tea blend. All right, so we're gonna have very sweet, very herbal, very fruity, fruity flavors, and I'm also going to combine them with coconut and a little bit of sweetener. This is stevia with chocolate in it, and um, I believe it's a natural chocolate flavoring. I hope it is anyway. Yeah, natural flavors. So we're just gonna put a few drops of this in. Now you can make a single batch or you, you know, and just put it in your teapot and just assort different herbs and spices, or you can do like I'm doing today and make a whole, whole bunch. This is going to make about a half of a container. Now, because we've got wet ingredients, we're going to shake it and we're going to dry it. So I'm not gonna fill this container completely, but I thought it would be a good way for me to um, use a little alcohol to disinfect my jar. And I'm just gonna pour the excess in there. If I need more, I will add it, but we're gonna work fairly quickly. So the first ingredient I have here are freshly gathered blackberry, fermented blackberry leaves. So we're gonna put a few of those in and the thorns included. This stuff is dangerous stuff. <laughs> We're gonna put a few chrysanthemum blossoms. And then here we've got medlar, which are, these are the, the skins and the seeds left over from the paste, but there's a lot of paste still there. So there's a lot of fruit in there, which is wonderful. Now the next few ingredients I'm gonna use are the fruit from the Chinese New Year. Now I picked three. We're gonna put in some of the uh, water chestnuts. So let me just open this up. Okay, let's put a few of those into this container. This is going to provide the sweetness without having to add additional sugars, which is really fun. And also the flavor is nice. Here we've got lotus root, and we're going to chop both of those. Set that to the side. And last but not least, my coconut shred. Now this one I don't really have to do much to, so I'm just going to Grab little handfuls of it and break it up in there as it goes. This is easily broken. Now I like big chunks of stuff. You can certainly chop it up really fine. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just going to be layering. Don't want anything too prickly in there. This is wild blackberry again, for those of you who missed that. Wonderful as a tea. Really, really hard to, uh, to um, create a tea out of though because it's so prickly. Now, fermenting tea is hard. I don't know why I thought it would be easy, but it wasn't easy at all. I am gonna chop these up. If you want to see how that's done, I will be having, I will be uploading a video on making your own. It took me about two months to create that, so it's not a simple, quick project. Um, but it's something really awesome that's worth it if you take a little bit of time. So I'm just going to chop these up. They kind of look like ginger, don't they? These are going to give us little sweets. And the flavor is nice. Here, let me try one for you. Kind of tastes like sweet water chestnuts. Um, it's got a very, very sweet, very uh, almost vanilla taste, probably because of the sugar. Uh, 
Um, and then nutty, <clears throat> very good. Very, very good. We're gonna put some more of this. More of the flowers. More of this. Now, if you like more um, herbal leaf type teas, you can use green tea in this blend. It's quite nice. It's making a fruit tea inspired by the Chinese New Year traditional treats. Now these chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum blossoms are tiny, but I was really um, surprised at how expensive they are. They're delicious though, so totally worth it. You can also get the big giant flowers like you've seen in my mailbox minutes. I love that one. It's very, very pretty. I will be doing a flower tea in the spring. So come back for that. So we got that. Some more of this. The rest of that. The rest of this. And I think one more of these. I don't think we need a lot of the sugary fruit it is going to add an element of sweetness i recently got the most wonderful gift from my friend rainbow <laughs> um, from china she came back with some little packets of tea this is going to have quite a bit of coconut in it because i just i love coconut and vanilla and chocolate together and for a tea, you can't go wrong. All right, so there we are. I'm gonna seal that up and start shaking. Now layering helps. Beautiful tea. Looks like I made it. It looks like it came from Michael's. Let's give it a sniff. And then I'm going to broke over a cup. That looked beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful tea. Happy Chinese New Year. I'm just going to clean up, brew us a cup, and have a little taste. I'll be right back. All right, so I hope I've got everything here. <laughs> so I've got my tea. And I'm just going to spread it out like this and let it dry. Now, if you don't recognize this, I buy spaghetti sauce from Classico just because I get the jar every time. And honestly, if my neighbors are recycling them, I grab them because <laughs> they're awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry too because there's still quite a bit of goodies in there. We'll give it a scrape before um, we finish. Now you can have it just like this. Not a beautiful tea. And I use about a tablespoon per cup. So we've got four cups here. So we're gonna put four tablespoons in. And while that's brewing, you can see that. While that's brewing, I'll tell you about my other tea things. So I'm gonna leave this out overnight to finish doing its thing. So I was in Winners the other day and I found the skinny, skinny syrups foaming topping. And I love, love, love a bit of cream on top of my Tea. I like herbal teas that are sweet with a little bit of tea. Now don't put it in any of your um, sour teas because it'll just curdle and that's gross. <laughs> so gross. Oh, I don't want to ruin my whole... I think that that's a pretty bottle. It's going to take the whole thing off. All right, I've never done this before. So we'll see if it works. 
Oh, there's a foam. <laughs> we teased it. It doesn't taste terrible and it's going to add a lot of sweetness. So I'm only going to use a little bit of that. But this is one of my favorite teacups. This is the young Queen Elizabeth. And so that's what I've chosen today. For the longest time I was um, collecting teacups, which was kind of fun. I still do every once in a while, but not all the time. But they are a lot of fun to collect. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna see those flowers opening up. Aren't they beautiful? It smells amazing. So I have another treat to go along with our Chinese New Year. And I picked these up at Walmart here because we have one of the oldest Chinatowns and so we've got a lot of people who settled here from China. So Golden Happiness Chinese Long Donut. And as you can see, they are not iced. So we'll see what these are like. Let me just get one out. Tear the bags. Let me find a knife. Take out a donut. Now these kind of reminded me of another donut, the Mexican donuts, the churros that are super long, but these are definitely a yeast donut. They're very, very soft. So as soon as our tea is brewed, we will try it <laughs> with the tea. And it's looking actually really good right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and press it. I don't take it out and I usually um, bring it up again a few times because I like my tea so strong. And we'll pour us a cup. Mm, my donut smells really good, actually. I think it's going to be the perfect accompaniment. And that's a very strange foamy thing. <laughs> I probably should have only had one. But there's a taste for you. And then we'll see. Mmm. I think it would have been better without the birthday cake. <laughs> but let's give the donut a dunk. Actually, I'm going to taste it without. Mm. Most of my students from China prefer the plain donuts. But it's good with a foam too. <laughs> Delicious. So happy new year. Happy new year of the rat. And I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day. <laughs> I know my day is starting out well and I'm going to enjoy this all week long. This is going to be fantastic. Thank you so much. As far as a review for the Jordan Skinny Syrup, I could pass on that one. But it's got very pretty packaging <laughs> and a very strange foam. <laughs> Not really sure what I put in my tea. I may start over. <laughs> see. It is really good with the donut though because we're used to a sweeter donut. So anyway, if you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe and give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye for now. Gung hei bat choy. And the other one that I can never remember that I need to learn because I'm going to China next month. <laughs> um, I will bring back some teas from China and I will show you some that I got from my friend. Oh, I hope you enjoy that as well. Bye for now.